Hello everyone. Welcome to Power Electronics lecture series. In today's video, we are going to take a look at R triggering of SCR. The link for the material will be provided in the description and you can download it for your reference. So now let's get started. So R triggering of SCR is basically a circuit that is actually used to turn on the SCR. So R here stands for resistor. So if you carefully observe, you have resistive elements that are connected with the gate terminal of SCR, isn't it? And that is why it is called as R triggering of SCR. Now we need to understand why do we need these components in order to turn on the SCR? So we have an AC supply, we have a load and we have few additional components. So let us look at the purpose of each of these components first. So Rmin is used to limit the gate current to its maximum value. So for example, the gate current required for this SCR to turn on is around 50 milliampers. So the Rmin can be designed such that the current flowing through this path will not exceed 50 milliampers. The maximum current that can be flowing through this particular uh, gate terminal will be 50 milliampers and that will be taken care with the help of Rmin. So how do we do that? Rmin can be chosen which is greater than or equal to Vm which is basically the maximum voltage divided by Ig max. So the maximum gate current that is required to be supplied. So I hope this point is clear. So why do we need Rb then? So Rb is called a stabilizing resistor and voltage across Rb should not exceed minimum gate voltage. So that is why we need this Rb over here. So for example, if we want uh, a gate voltage of about 0.3 to 0.4 volt assumption. So this RB will exactly ensure that only that amount of voltage is supplied to the gate terminal. And that is why you need a stabilizing resistor connected across gate to the cathode terminal over here. So I hope this point is also clear. Now you might be having a doubt as why is this R and why is this diode actually required. So that will be understood if we understand the operation of this particular circuit. So let us consider the same circuit again and what happens during positive half cycle of the AC supply. So this is positive and this is negative. In that case, the current flowing through this path and there is some amount of load that is used. So current flows through this path and this terminal over here will again be positive and negative, isn't it? Because the same voltage with some voltage drop will appear across these two points. Now what will happen? Current starts flowing through this path. Current starts flowing through this path. Now the current will not flow through this path because we have not given the gate supply to the ACR, isn't it? Although anode is positive and cathode is negative, we need to give the required amount of gate current to the ACR. So we have still not given it and that is why this ACR is not still turned on at this point in time. Now the current as it is flowing through this path, it will also flow through this path and over here this is plus and this is minus. So positive polarity will appear at this point and negative polarity will be appearing at this point, isn't it? Because of this, the diode is forward biased as positive is with respect to anode and negative is with respect to cathode and current flows through this path. And once the current is flowing through this path, the current will be flowing through this path as well and some amount of current will also flow through this path but that is neglected because most of the current will be flowing through the least resistance path. So the gate current is supplied now. If you carefully see, during positive half cycle the current flow through this path, through this path, this path, this path and this path and finally the SCR has been turned on now because we have given the gate supply and anode is positive, cathode is negative. So this condition is satisfied and that is why SCR is turned on. Now the current flows through this path and the current returns through this path. So basically SCR is in turn on condition. So the diode here is required because of one important purpose. That is during negative half cycle, the supply will become minus and plus, isn't it? And at that point in time, this diode will act as open circuit and no gate supply will be given to the gate terminal of SCR. 
why is that so because during negative half cycle when this is minus and this is plus this will be minus and plus so obviously anode is negative and cathode is positive even if you give the gate supply the cr will not be turned on isn't it and that is why you will be using a diode so that only during positive polarity of the supply current will be given to the gate terminal i hope this point is clear very very important point now what is the purpose of r r basically controls the firing angle of the gate terminals of the scr for example if you are assuming r to be zero the firing angle will be minimum so the lowest firing angle will be the zero firing angle that is alpha is equal to zero so when r is equal to zero alpha will be minimum that is zero as you slowly increase the value of r the value of alpha also starts increasing so what am i trying to say with the help of r you will be able to control the firing angle of the scr and that is why r triggering of scr is the name of this particular circuit basically with the help of resistor we are able to control the firing of scr so now we need to understand we know why these components are used we need to understand what is the main drawback of this particular circuit so there is some drawback and that is why we are not popularly using the circuit so that can be understood with the help of waveforms so let's go and look at the waveforms so basically we will be looking at the supply voltage waveform the gate voltage waveform and the output voltage waveform we have considered the same circuit so the supply is positive and negative sinusoidal so we considering two cycles over here now let us say we will be turning on the scr at say some angle equal to alpha at this point so if we call this as alpha at this point we will be giving a gate pulse so the highest voltage will be applied at this point that is when alpha is the firing angle now what will happen is we will again repeat the same thing for the next cycle as well so what will be the output voltage whenever we are firing vg at this instant the output voltage will be equal to the supply voltage the output voltage is nothing but the voltage across the load so whatever you have supplied will be appearing across the load terminals isn't it so that is why the output will basically follow the input from this point so from this point scr will be acting as a short circuit and it will be turned on and the ac supply will directly be appearing across the load terminals so v out will follow the input in this particular fashion again when there is a pulse at this point what will happen again there will be an output voltage which is same to that of the supply voltage vs so i hope till this point you have understood now comes a very important analysis now let us say i trigger at instant a at this point so you got the firing angle at this point isn't it now let us say i want to trigger it at instant b so basically i mentioned with the help of resistance value you will be able to turn on the scr isn't it but at instant b if you carefully observe the voltage vs is still the same at a also it is same at b also is it it is same because it is a sinusoidal supply isn't it so because of this the resistance value will obviously produce some amount of voltage through the conversion isn't it so if you are carefully observing for one particular resistance value there can be only one voltage so at this instant what will happen even if you trigger the scr at voltage b it will be turned on only at voltage e that means you will have control over the circuit only for 90 degree that is the maximum value from here if you consider this till here that is 90 degree you will be able to control or trigger the scr beyond this point you have absolutely no control obviously during negative half cycle the scr will be turned off so we have the allowance to control from 0 to 180 degree but out of 0 to 180 degree we will only be able to control from 0 to 90 degrees this is one of the major drawbacks of this particular circuit and that is why we don't prefer r triggering circuits popularly in a lot of applications
but you might ask me then why should we actually study this when we don't prefer this is very important to build the concepts the upcoming circuits that you see will actually be comparing with this particular circuit and we will be able to understand it in a much better way and that is why basics are very very important i hope this video gave you a clear understanding of the operation of r triggering of ser in case you have any questions with respect to this video please feel free to reach out by typing in your questions in the comment section below i'll be more than happy to respond to your comments thanks for watching Please to keep supporting. Thank you.